So I haven't talked about this in a while, but it's official. Elon Musk is now owned by Twitter. Now to commemorate his reign as the emperor of Twitter, he carried a sink into Twitter HQ and he tweeted, let that sink in. Absolutely brilliant stuff here, folks. Now, um, what he's trying to do is he's trying to change Twitter to make it profitable because currently Twitter is not profitable. And I understand that he paid a lot of money for Twitter, more than he should have probably, and he wants to make money off of this very irresponsible investment. But his ideas aren't very good so far. So he's trying to get people to pay money for a product that's already free. Right now, that's not inconceivable, to be clear, because YouTube has been a free service. It's free to subscribe, but YouTube introduced YouTube premium. Now, why would people pay for YouTube premium? Well, because if you use the service enough, it lets you bypass ads. I, for one, pay for YouTube premium because I don't like watching ads. So it's not inconceivable that somebody would give money for a product that they already use for free. The problem is, how do you make that worthwhile when it comes to Twitter? So his, I guess, idea currently, it's not official yet, but he's proposing that you remove features from the website that already exist and you force people to pay for said features to get them back. Not necessarily something that's going to go over too well if you're not just improving the site and you're stripping features away from people. Nonetheless, one of those features was, uh, as the Hills headline reports here, that they may begin charging $20 for verified users per month to maintain verification status. Now, reacting to this news, legendary author Stephen King tweeted out, $20 a month to keep my blue check? Fuck that, they should pay me. If that gets instituted, I'm gone like Enron. Yeah, and I agree with him. I'm not going to leave the site if he begins charging $20 per month for verification. I just wouldn't be verified. It's just not that important to me. It doesn't make sense to pay $20 a month for internet clout. I mean, the verification badge is there supposedly, so that way if you are a public figure, then you know, it stops others from impersonating you. They know that you're the real account holder of this thing, but it's not that important overall. I mean, $20 a month for verification status, it's just, it's a really bad idea. And I can't imagine anyone with the exception of Elon Simps would give him $20 a month for verification. Now, Elon Musk responded to Stephen King and he tried to negotiate with Stephen King with a little bit of a guilt trip, I guess. He said, we need to pay the bill somehow. Twitter cannot rely entirely on advertisers. How about $8? <laughs> I will explain the rationale in longer form before this is implemented. It is the only way to defeat trolls and bots. Twitter's got to make money somehow, but also, oh, no, no, no. It's not about the money. It's to defeat the trolls and bots. Mm, that doesn't seem like the best way to do it. So it's already like he's just been the owner for like a week or so. It's already not necessarily going very well. Use of the N-word has increased by 500% because Elon Musk's fans feel emboldened. They feel as if, oh, well, now this is a free speech platform and we could do things that we couldn't do before. But really nothing has changed with regard to policy. Just a bunch of racists feel emboldened now that a so-called free speech warrior is the owner of the website. So look, if he destroys Twitter, let me just say this. I don't care that much. I use Twitter and I would prefer to have Twitter because it helps me as a political commentator. It kind of aggregates all of the news for me so I don't have to go to website after website to try to figure out what's happening and what I want to talk about. So it's nice to kind of be able to keep in touch with people that way. But in the event, Twitter goes the way of the dodo. It's not the end of the world for me. In fact, I think that my mental health would improve if Twitter went away and I didn't feel compelled to use it. So, I mean, I'm not necessarily going to shed any tears if he destroys Twitter. Um, I'll be a little bit disappointed, probably, admittedly, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. This is something that isn't necessary for me as a content creator, right? When I share my Twitter videos, the conversion rate isn't that high. Like, I get maybe 50 to 100 views per tweet when I share my videos. So, I mean, it's just not that important at the end of the day, to me anyways, perhaps it's more important to independent journalists and whatnot who share their work that way. But at the end of the day, I don't care that much. Now, he did explain in a lengthier thread, it was relatively short, but he tried to explain the way that this model would function and the proposed benefits 
Um, but it somehow made less sense in the lengthier thread where he is offering clarification. He writes, Twitter's current lords and peasants system for who has or doesn't have a blue check mark is bullshit. Power to the people. Blue for $8 a month. You will also get priority in replies, mentions, and search, which is essential to defeat spam and scam, ability to post long video and audio, and half as many ads. So first of all, whenever a billionaire invokes lords and peasants and they pretend as if they're on the side of the peasants that already is just hilarious but to combat the current lords and peasants system what elon musk is proposing is that people pay eight dollars per month for twitter and then they'll get boosted by the algorithm and priority and replies and the peasants are definitely going to want to pay for that and therefore you're defeating the lords and the peasant system it seems like you're creating a lords and the peasant system by forcing people to pay because the peasants aren't going to be able to afford to pay. And a lot of the lords, i.e. the blue check marks, why would they pay for this? Because verification, again, is just not that important. It's just really it seeing this and seeing his rationale as he kind of like vomits this up into Twitter in this thread. It makes me think he's just not that bright. All of this talk of him being a brilliant businessman, I mean, it's all a facade. He's not that bright. These ideas are terrible. Are there ways to make Twitter profitable? I don't know, but perhaps this isn't the way that you go about it. And he's pretending as if Twitter ads are already like too much. I really don't feel bothered by the ads. I see them from time to time. They're not that common, not enough to really inhibit the overall experience. So it just feels like he doesn't have the best ideas and maybe billionaires aren't smart right um now he also adds that this is going to be a boon for creators because this will also give twitter a revenue stream to reward content creators so by charging content creators for verification twitter will now have a revenue stream to pay content creators pay them for what what additional content can content creators provide that warrants $8 per month. I mean, additional tweets, who gives a shit? I am a huge fan of Ethan Klein of H3, for example. I'm not gonna pay $8 per month to see special tweets. If anything, maybe I'll pay for his YouTube membership for $5 per month so I can get access to behind the scenes videos, but special tweets, just not that important to me. So he's trying to make Twitter seemingly more like YouTube and Patreon, but it's just not the format for that. Like the platform doesn't fit. It's incompatible with this format, but he's trying to find a way to make money. And people in the replies to this were just like, oh my God, it's amazing. Content creators will get paid. Why would you believe that? He already admitted that this is about making money. So it's not what he's doing to support content creators. If anything, this will hurt smaller content creators who can't afford $8 per month or $20 per month or whatever he wants to charge. So overall, it's just a terrible idea. And I'm kind of enjoying watching it. Like, again, it's weird because I don't necessarily want Twitter to be destroyed by this idiot billionaire. But at the same time, the way that he's implementing these changing uh, changes or the way that he is thinking aloud about things that he wants to do is so hilariously bad and comical. I just can't not look away. Like, it's, it's like a train wreck. Like, you have to watch, right? So... You know, he might destroy Twitter with all of these. I think that what's going to happen is if he institutes these changes and he starts, you know, bleeding users, then he's going to back off of them because ultimately he wants this to be a money making venture because this is an investment that was very costly for him. So I think that if it hurts his business, he's not going to implement it. But either way, just seeing him try to find ways to take money from Twitter users, a free service is, is kind of funny. It shows how out of touch these billionaires are because nobody's going to pay for a $20 verification badge or an $8 verification badge. And if they do, then that just to me tells me that that person is an idiot and they should be avoided on Twitter. When you acting like a beta, 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 beta.